There are a lot of amazing paid courses, including mine, linked down below, but there are also a ton of great free resources available on the internet that you can take to help you learn the skills required to get started for free in cybersecurity and become an amazing SOC analyst. In this video, I'll share resources that are completely free as a recording, but before I do that, you might ask, why am I doing this if I have a paid course? Well, for starters, not everyone is in a financial position to afford a paid course. And two, it's just a different teaching style slash medium. Some may learn better by reading and watching others, whereas some may prefer my teaching style. The way I like to think about it is like a restaurant. You do have two restaurants offering the same dish, but some may prefer the other and vice versa. Or some may prefer cooking at home. It's the same outcome, but different price point. At the end of the day, I truly want what is best for you. This video is for you if you prefer to self-study for free. The only currency is your time and attention. I'll leave a link to all of the resources and more in the description down below. Let's start with the basics, information technology, aka IT. You can't learn to drive a car without knowing the difference between the brake, gas pedal, and manual pedal if you decide to drive a manual car. Now, jumping into cybersecurity without knowing basic IT is like jumping into a car without knowing what these pedals and gadgets are. Many people skip this step and want to jump straight into this field without IT. But would you let someone drive a car not knowing how to operate it? Probably not. Now, I want you to put yourself as the employer. Would you hire someone in cybersecurity if they have no idea what a computer is? Okay. That is a bit of an extreme example, but you get the point. So where can you learn this for free? Well, Professor Messer has free training towards the CompTIA A plus certification, which is a certification that many recommend when getting started into IT. Now it's not mandatory, but it's nice to have. Allison has a lot of free courses that you can take, but do be aware that some of these courses are pretty dry. In other words, they might put you to sleep. Cybrary has a course for free that will teach you IT and cybersecurity called IT and Cybersecurity Foundations. As you might already know, YouTube is an excellent resource to learn for free and some of the channels that provide free IT training are Kev Tech IT Support and IT Free Training. And I'm sure that there are many others that you can find simply searching for free IT training. Let's move on to the second topic which is pretty important to know and that is networking. Using the same car analogy, networking is like learning the rules of the road. If you're a driver, wouldn't you agree that knowing the rules of the road is extremely important? I hope so. <laughs> this is why I say understanding networking is a must in cybersecurity. Know your protocols, learn the differences between a private and public IP, and what the heck is a subnet. This will come in handy whenever you are troubleshooting or investigating a potential compromise. So where can you learn networking for free? You have Professor Messer teaching you Network Plus. Now again, you don't need to obtain this certificate, but it's nice to have. You can simply learn the material. Cisco has a path called Network Technician that you can enroll for free to learn networking fundamentals. YouTube has great playlists that will cover networking fundamentals, such as the Practical Networking Playlist or the Computer Networking Top Down Playlist. Next, we move on to what everybody wants to get into, which is cybersecurity. Learning how to maintain your car and protect it from breaking down. As you might already know, the term cybersecurity is quite broad and there are a lot of different domains within this industry. So I always recommend those who really want to get into cybersecurity is to take a minute and learn what domains are available and find the one that is most interesting to you. When taking a cybersecurity course, always ask yourself, is this something I enjoy learning and doing? If so, note that down and at the end of the course, tally up what interests you the most. Was it configuring things, analyzing logs, reading about the latest threats, or was it policy and guideline creations? The more specific you are, the better. In the beginning, trust me, it's going to be tough to pick one. And that is perfectly normal. You just need to pick an area that you enjoy and go for it. You can always change later and as an FYI, my very first YouTube video, I talk about some of the different domains that exist in cybersecurity. So you can check that out if you haven't already and are curious. So where can you learn cybersecurity for free? You guessed it. <laughs> Professor Messer provides training videos for Security Plus. 
the only certification that I would recommend anybody get that is interested in this field. And speaking about certifications, don't go and try to collect them all like Pokemon cards. That is not the play. Instead, you'll want to focus on leveling up your practical skills by participating in the projects that I post and following along with walkthroughs for SOC related labs if you're interested in becoming a SOC analyst, which I think you are if you clicked on this video. Cisco offers a learning path called Junior Cybersecurity Analyst where it'll go over some of the fundamentals of cybersecurity. Now, do remember that this is where you'll start to jot down what interests you the most. Because if I were to use another analogy, saying that you want to get into cybersecurity is like saying you want to become a chef. Okay, what chef? Italian? French? Japanese? The more specific you are with what you want to become, the more quality of resources that you can start consuming. So instead of saying, I want to get into cybersecurity, say you want to get into cybersecurity specifically within the security operations domain as a SOC analyst. And wow, you'll have a lot more success in finding the right material to consume. If I were to use the same chef example, it would be saying that I want to be a Japanese chef specializing in ramen. And if I wanted to be even more specific, tonkatsu ramen. Now I can eliminate all the other resources that are not related to ramen. See how that works? Again, in the beginning, you will have no clue and that is perfectly fine. But do keep this in the back of your mind and think about what you like within cybersecurity. Another free resource is the ISC Squared Certified Cybersecurity, where it'll go over the basic fundamentals of cybersecurity and is something that I usually recommend those that are just starting out to take a look at. All of the links will be provided to you down below. Finally, we get into the free trainings to become a SOC analyst. There aren't too many free ones available, but as long as you remember the core responsibilities of a SOC analyst and learn the material related to that, you should be fine. As a reminder, the core responsibilities are detect, monitor, analyze, and respond. The tools that you're expected to know at the very least are SIMS, EDRs, antivirus, IDS slash IPS, and firewalls. Five important categories where you'll need to learn how to investigate are identity, cloud, network, malware, and endpoint. So where can you learn some skills to become a SOC analyst? Well, Splunk has free training on their site and they have a capture the flag called Boss of the SOC, where you can practice your Splunk and investigation skills. Anti-Siphon has a pay what you can training for practical SOC skills. And I highly recommend you go and check that out. Microsoft provides free self-paced training for SC200, which is a popular starter SOC certification. Resources such as Cyber Defenders, Blue Team Level 1, Let's Defend, Try Hack Me, and Hack the Box have a lot of free labs that you can participate in to obtain some hands-on experience. There are many walkthroughs that you can find online to help you if you ever get stuck. And lastly, a shameless plug, my channel is currently dedicated to help exactly those who want to become SOC analysts. You can find projects, walkthroughs, and tips to help you learn more about this particular role. Now, doing all this training, will you land a job? Maybe, maybe not. This is going to take time, so don't expect to speed run these trainings and have false expectations. I want you to put yourself in a lot of different scenarios so that you can gain valuable experiences. For example, is your friend having computer problems? If so, ask if you can provide assistance. Try learning how to set up your own network and attempt to implement security controls around it. You can only learn so much about riding a bike from videos. Until you try it yourself, you'll never truly learn how to ride a bike. In other words, in order for you to become a SOC analyst, not only will you need to learn by consuming content, but also do by taking action. You now have the free resources available to you. It's up to you to take action and become who you want to become. That is it for the video and I hope you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.